Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Shimada-san from Honda R&D. Shimada-san is actually known as the father of hybrid for Honda. And you call it Earth Dreams Technology IMMD. So first, the first part of the IMMD system is the engine. This is an engine exclusively uh, developed for this purpose. It's a two liter DOHC dual overhead cam IV Tech Atkinson cycle engine. It is a very, very high efficiency engine. Now you can see running from the engine through that shaft in there, that leads out here to the generator motor. So the energy from the engine is turned into electrical energy by this generator motor, and then that energy is sent to the motor here, which is the drive motor. So for both of these motors, we worked really hard in making them high efficient through the way we coil the wires and the way we position the magnets that are in these motors. And in this small packaging, we were able to get a lot of output and torque from those motors. So even just the way you coil the wire makes a difference in how efficient it is. A lot of winding in a very limited space here. Now, when the vehicle is in what we call the engine drive mode, there is a clutch, which you can see there, which when engaged directly connects the engine to the wheels and runs the vehicle that way. So there are actually three drive modes. There's the EV drive mode, where just the motor is running the vehicle. There's the hybrid mode, where the engine is running to turn the generator motor to create energy, which goes to the drive motor to drive the vehicle. And then there's also the engine drive mode, where the clutch is connected and the engine turns the wheels. Now, depending on the drive situation, the system can switch between those three different modes, and in that way, it's able to improve both fuel efficiency and drive performance. Okay. Now, what about the CVT? So, first of all, when you're in hybrid drive mode, the engine and the tires are not directly connected. So, the engine turns this generator motor, which turns the engine's energy into electrical energy, which is sent to the motor to drive the wheels. So, therefore, the engine's RPMs and the tire's RPMs aren't connected like in a traditional system with a gear. In a conventional CVT, you have a belt which changes the shift ratio and changes the power. However, in this system, it's the electric motor which changes the power. Therefore, the relationship is an electric continuously variable transmission. Why did you decide not to go with a belt? The reason why we went with the electric CVT shifting is because it has higher efficiency. All right. Shimada-san, I got the Thank you.